Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Blondie gets in the shop. This week I have been doing a little DIY project in the evenings because now that it's winter I need something in the evening to like distract me and like I just want to go to bed when I come home but it's too early because it's dark so I've been doing a little project this week and yes that is a Christmas tree you can see behind me. I have popped up a Christmas tree. So I don't think I filmed in this room before. This is my master bedroom. I haven't done a tour on it yet because I'm kind of doing little bits to it and I might do a little tour because I want to get like a window and stuff put in. So I've had this cabinet in my master bedroom and it's kind of just been sitting there. It was gathering like um, fabric samples and it just kind of wasn't doing it for me anymore. Like the colors weren't nice and it didn't match like the theme of my room. And like I said, I want to kind of redo this room. So I want to change some of the colored, uh, the pieces of furniture so they're like colored. So the guys over at Farrow and Ball, which is the paint I'm using today, they had um, this floral wallpaper and they met me to see if I wanted to do their blogger challenge where they give you floral wallpaper or the wallpaper from their floral range. It's like a new range they have and you do something with it. And I was like, okay, wallpaper. I was like, all my walls are wallpapers. I've run out of walls to wallpaper. And then I was like, oh, there's that cabinet that is looking a bit shabby. And I was like, I think I could do something with that. So what I done today was I used their wallpaper inside my cabinet and I completely redone my cabinet. I put legs and everything on it and I'm delighted. It's actually just behind the camera, I'm looking at it. All I have to do is add one of the things of wallpaper to do, to finish it off, which I'm gonna show you how I kind of wallpaper the inside. And I'm absolutely thrilled with how it's after turning out. I don't know if you can see Blondie, you'll see a little tail pop up. So I'm gonna to chat to you in today's video about how I kind of repainted and redone my cabinet um, to make it match in with my room a bit better. And I'm gonna show you Blondie's tail. I'm going to show you um, finished look and how it turned out. So let's talk paint. Blondie is just going to participate in this video. If you hear a purring in the background, I hope it's not annoying, but I can't hoosh her off because it'd be too quick. So this cabinet was originally painted in Authentico eggshell. So it was an eggshell paint and it just didn't match. So I repainted it in the um, Faro and Ball Estate eggshell and I used the shade Calamine. Calamine, like the lotion. And it's a gorgeous kind of like warm pink, I would say. It's almost like a purpley pink, if that makes any sense. The color might not come across in the video, but when you see it in person, it's like a, a warm pink. So it's not a chalk paint. And I was able to recoat my cabinet because if I had painted my cabinet originally in a chalk paint, I would have to strip it back there because you can't put an eggshell over a chalk paint. But because it was an eggshell, what I done was I gave it two coats of the Farrow and Ball undercoat and primer. Um, the paint job that was originally on it was perfect. There was no chips. If there was any chips, you would have to sand them back because your new paint going on, it will just chip. So once your cabinet is sanded and there's no kind of like chips or lifts, then you can go ahead with your, Blondie, she's knocking things over. You can go ahead and give your coat of undercoat. So I kind of gave it one and a half coats of undercoat. I gave it one full coat and then where I had used the roller, it was looking a little bit patchy. So I went over those areas with another coat. So every evening this week, like I done like an hour each evening. So I left a full day between doing coats, but um, it does say on the tin that it's recoatable in four hours. So you would be able to do two coats in one day. I then went on with my top coat, which was the Calamine. Um, and when using the eggshell, I would always use the undercoat and primer um, because I only had to do two coats of the pink top coat. If you didn't undercoat, you would have to do so much more coats. So I would recommend using the undercoat and primer and use the two brands together. I find when I use a brand of paint, I will use the same brand of undercoat for that brand where I can. Um, like it's okay to mix and match, but when it comes to brands, they make their undercoat to go with their top coat, if that makes sense. Like we all have what's in our kit and we use what you have, but where you can use the same brand. Once my top coat was dry, I let that dry for a full day and then 
my legs arrived so a few people I was sharing my progress on insta stories during the week and a few people were like nice cabinet but it needs legs and I was like I know it needs some legs and I was like I wonder can I find inexpensive legs or am I gonna have to chop up an old coffee table to stick some legs on so I done a little google and Thankfully, there was an Irish supplier. It was a shop in town. I got next day delivery. So I ordered these Queen Anne legs. They were $8.99 each, um, which I thought was good for a set of legs. Like the cabinet was originally cheap. I got the cabinet a few years ago. So my legs arrived and guess what I did, ladies? So I was eager and I couldn't lift my cabinet. So I thought this was genius. I got my car jack and I jacked up the cabinet and I stuck my legs on. Now, I'm going to get the glue. Now, I used some Gorilla Glue. It was my first time to use this, so when I was buying the legs, I was like, I'll just buy the legs and figure out how to stick them on. And then I was like, realistically, I don't know how to drill them in um, and have a secure. So when I was buying my legs, a thing popped up for Gorilla Glue, and I said that like bonds, stone metal, ceramic, glass, wood, foam, and more. And I was like, you know what, I'll give this a bash. So I Gorilla glued my legs to the stand and they are rock solid. They are not going anywhere. So the good thing about this glue is um, it won't budge, but I mean, the bad thing is if you then wanna take the legs off, you'll probably have to break them off, I don't know. Um, so Gorilla glue, be very careful using this. It comes with um, gloves and basically uh, it's activated by water. So you just lightly wet um, the wood or whatever it is you're bonding, stick them together. And I think it was bonded in an hour, but I left a full 24 hours for it to kind of like cure before I thought about like moving the cabinet. So then, probably the hardest part was sticking the wallpaper in. I am not a wallpaper pro. I always get help when I am kind of doing wallpaper like around the house, like walls. Um, so I was like, you know what, this cabinet, I'll give it a bash. Now, my wallpaper isn't perfect, it is a little bit wrinkly in places, but I suppose that's just how we learn. And the fun thing about wallpapering something is, when you get bored of it, you can just change it. So this is the Farrow Ball wallpaper that I used. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it's like it's hand printed on, almost. Like you can see where it's been printed. It's a really, really nice thick wallpaper and I have used some cheap, well, I have a cabinet, actually, if you see my living room house tour or my living room tour, I have a cabinet down there and I used a cheaper wallpaper to wallpaper the inside of that and it kind of like ripped, um, it was quite delicate, whereas that one is quite thick and um, I really had to kind of squish it into places to cut it and to get it to fit and it didn't rip on me, I had no rips and once you use a good amount of paste on the back it was quite forgiving in like bubbles and stuff um, so I'm not a pro at wallpapering, I will show you how um, I left the top shelf to wallpaper to show you um, but go YouTube how to wallpaper um, if you want to have proper knowledge of wallpaper. Um, I'm not a pro, but I try. <laughs> so my easiest tip for wallpapering is, and I'll try and do this, explain this as good as I can, because I'm not very good at explaining wallpapering. When it comes to wallpaper, I put the roll in, roughly kind of see how much I need. So down here, I'll run my finger across the bottom, take it out and cut it. So then I'll cut a piece that is almost to size. I'll put it back in, double check it kind of fits. And then when I'm happy that my piece of wallpaper fits the back of the cabinet, I will paste the back of it and then stick it on and wipe it with a cloth to get all the bubbles out. I hope that makes sense. Um, now for this cabinet, this is one length of the roll, but I needed to, I needed another piece for the end. So I had to pattern match, um, so it wouldn't look silly. So to pattern match, I just got another piece that matched on. Um, so I just put the roll out, and where the, the pattern matched, I cut that section. Um, you do lose some of your wallpaper roll, like I had a bit of wastage by pattern matching, but if I didn't pattern match them, my cabinet would look silly. If that makes sense. 
Um, so loads of paste on the back. Wallpaper paste is really easy. I just mixed up a tiny bit and you just have it so that it's not too thick, not too thin, no lumps. Um, kind of like porridge, watery porridge maybe? Again, go look at YouTube and Google for a proper wallpaper DIY, but that's what I've done for this video. So once the wallpaper is in, I just put back on the little knobs that um, were originally on it. They're actually um, spare knobs that was from my kitchen cabinets. Um, so my kitchen cabinets have these little floral knobs and I had two left over and they fit this absolutely perfectly. Um, I decided to paint the legs pink in the end. A few guys on Instagram like, I'll paint them gold or paint them um, a different color. But I went with the pink um, because when you kind of look at the room, um, I'll show you because I have a pink couch here and then the pink cabinet, it all just kind of flows really nice. So I'm actually really thrilled with how it turned out and it's I feel like a sense of achievement because like the past week has been it's really winter now in Ireland and it gets darker four o'clock so it's I do suffer I need the sunshine I am one of these people that the dark evenings really do get so all week doing this project has been like a mood booster and then it's Sunday now so I'm looking at it going what could I do it so I have a sense of achievement I will hopefully in the next two weeks, probably like the first week or the second week of December, I will do my Christmas kind of decor tour because I know you guys, I love that you guys are excited. I hope I don't disappoint you. It's not a fancy. Um, so I have a second Christmas tree up behind me in my bedroom because um, I'm due to do a co collaboration with a brand. Um, so I set the tree up. It's not dressed. It's literally just the lights are on it. Um, so I'm going to do that one kind of a shabby chic tree team but my main tree in the living room is more of a traditional kind of like red and gold so once I kind of have my tree behind me done um, I have a few more little decorations to put up in the kitchen and stuff then I will do my Christmas house tour for 2017 as I'm doing some of the little projects in this room as well, I will kind of show you more because I know you, a lot of you guys want to see like my master um, but at the moment it's just a little bit of a dumping ground which is why I film in the other bedroom that you see me filming. Um, so the goal is to get a window for this room, um, redo some of the furniture, I have a big blanket box to redo and then the room should be how I want it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love, love, love seeing your DIY projects. So even if it's just on Instagram or link to your videos below or tag me on Instagram in your little DIY projects, I love seeing them because it gives me motivation and it gives me inspiration. So if you have any like wallpaper ideas or any cabinets or anything you've painted to get you through winter, please tag me on Instagram. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, and hit that subscribe button if you are not already. I will see you all in next week's video. Bye!